Hey folks, Dan Palumbo here again, and uh, something interesting occurred in the simulator the other day, and I want to show it to you. We get into the simulator, and we see single rudder limit. Now, obviously, single rudder limit means there's got to be some sort of a hydraulic problem going to the rudder. And when we do an engine startup, we see single rudder limit that shows that the flight is working, but we don't have the left engine running yet. That single rudder limit will go away once it has hydraulic pressure from the flight hydraulic system and the combined hydraulic system. But in this case, we have the flight operating, we have the combined operating, we've got the, uh, the pressure, but we're coming up with a single rudder limit. So what happened? This could also happen to you in the airplane. If you happen to get up out of the seat, there's a seat belt here, and this seat belt might be wrapped around the flight power shutoff and you might accidentally pull up the flight power shutoff handle. If you do, that takes all the hydraulics away from the aircraft. And if that happens, you will see a single rudder limit message that doesn't go away. Chances are good that it came up and you didn't notice it, but it's number 81 on the before starting engine checklist. It tells you flight power shutoff handle, you need to confirm that it's down. If by mistake you skipped over it or you rushed a checklist, and miss that, it could be an issue. Once we take this handle and put it back, we now have hydraulic pressure back on the airplane and the message goes away. So, lesson number one, always read the checklist. Lesson number two, take your time reading the checklist. Have a great day.